Well, it started well, the All Blacks not even letting the Wallabies have the ball. And so it seemed like a chance to settle in for a good old-fashioned romp. First attempt of the test match, and it looks a pretty useful kick it is. That comfy feeling dissipating, though, when the Wallabies got the ball. Now Guinea once more to Chisholm. Here's Elsom. Here's a chance. And the try scored by Lockie Turner. Well, thankfully not. I don't think there's any problem. All there. Yes, a foot and touch. The Wallabies did get three points out of that, but then the natural order of things soon returned. Yes, the All Blacks, if not scoring tries, then coming very close. Nanu finds Thorne, quickly hands it on to Donnelly. Now Mialamu. Oh, beautiful work from Kevin Mialamu. Now freeing up Dag down this left wing side. Needs the kick in field. Oh, and it's beautifully kicked. And Muliaina, he's got some support from Corey Jane. Yes, all just a matter of time with deft touches like this kick from Dag in field. And the Wallabies then forced into cheating blatantly to prevent the try. Should have been a penalty try. But anyway, another three points. We'll take it. And then it all started to go wrong. Holding pretty well. McKelman's looking to get his hands on it. And off he goes. And that's a good burst. McKelman is clear. And here's a chance for James O'Connor. O'Connor's in. So a defensive lapse on the blind side of the scrum by the All Blacks. Victor Vito went wide. He didn't need to go wide because he was covering nobody outside. It's interesting, Foxy, because O'Connor had originally lined up to the left. There was no one on the blind side, and just as the Aussies put the ball in, he switched to the right. Well, the pattern probably is. If it's eight to nine, six will go to nine. Wings stay on wing. Yes, that it's all just a matter of time feeling was back. Despite a poor night with the boot, the Wallabies went to the break 14-6 ahead. So that meant obviously it was going to be a chance for the All Blacks to regroup and come out strong. Well, that's what we all thought until we got to the first three lineouts of the second half. Not straight. That works a lot better as it goes. Oh no, not straight. Guinea gets it again. And then more disaster. Back on the inside, but it's bounced away. And it's still there for Guinea. Sends it wide to Ashley Cooper. Here's a chance, Ashley Cooper. Now I'm with Conrad Smith on this one. What was Mark Lawrence doing? Oh, when you have a look here, shall I shall I blow the whistle? No, hang on a minute. This is gonna look pretty good. I'm gonna sit here and watch the Wallabies score a fantastic try, and I'm gonna be in the middle of it. Yes, as you can tell, angry at this stage, 22-9 down and looking like we were going down the toilet. But here's where it turned around. They had the chance of three points, but they took the line out. And then Richie McCaw led his troops over the top, out of the trenches and into some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Richie McCaw, they've got an advantage here. He's looked solid. John Arthur now on this tight head side against Robinson. Here they go. Here's McCaw! Richie McCaw, All Blacks finally. Now that is a bit of sweet blindside revenge. Thanks to Kieran Reid, which was repaid in kind. And McCaw passed the ball back to him. Desperation, dive at the line. So the All Blacks finally hit the front, 23-22. The Wallabies, well, they had one last shot of it, but the last movement, well, it kind of summed up the match, really. A technically dodgy game, but one of the most exciting. Ranger tries to pick it up. There's knock-ons all over the place from both sides, and that'll be the game. All Blacks jump in the air, 23 points to 22.